Science and Technology, 501 to 1100. During this period, the world's greatest inventors and scientists were Chinese and Arabic. Europeans were far behind, and the Americas mostly copied their ancestors. Many advances in science and technology were made independently by the Chinese and the Arabs. However, there were contact between them, so they also learned from each other. The Arabs were influenced by many new ideas from India and Persia. For example, the use of the number zero and the decimal counting system came from India. While all cultures across the world knew about herbal medicines and their uses, the Chinese and the Arabs were the most advanced. Arabic doctors wrote medical books which were studied by both Chinese and Europeans. The Chinese understood how vaccinations worked. This arose from their knowledge of acupuncture. They made magnetic compasses that could be used for navigation at sea and in the desert. And they invented gunpowder for fireworks and as a signaling device. It was the Europeans several centuries later who first used it in guns. Chinese ships, called junks, were the world's largest and only the Vikings could match their seamanship. The Chinese invented paddle wheel river boats and they designed large wooden machines for making cloth, irrigating fields, and lifting heavy weights. They also invented woodblock printing, dyes, paints, paintbrushes, and developed new types of vegetables books and ideas. One of the greatest advancements during this period was printing. From the 500s, the Chinese had used wooden blocks or woodcuts and were carved to print a whole page. They soon progressed to using movable type for individual letters so that pages could be made up and printed quickly in large quantities. In the mid 700s, the Chinese technique for paper making was passed on to the Arabs, who soon later passed on to Europe. The Arabs were skilled in astronomy and mathematics, and they drew the most accurate maps available at the time. The Muslim cities of Cairo, Baghdad, Cordoba, and Smar uh, Samarkand, Samarkand were home to the world's first universities. However, these developments did not result in the technological revolution because the pace of development had slowed down in China and the Muslim world by about 1100.